Okay, today we're gonna to go through the question of how to start studying in the first place, right? A lot of people who talk to me struggle with the concept of starting in the first place. Once they, once they start, they can get going, but starting in the first place just seems like a very daunting task to them and they just never get into it, right? And so today I'm gonna to discuss how we can get over that problem because it is definitely a problem I have felt in the past with studying, with work, with business, with whatever. It's hard to get into those productive tasks, right? because it feels like such a, a big mountain to climb that you just don't want to do it, right? You look at that and you think, okay, that's I don't want to do that, right? And that's the thing, right? It's how you look at it. It's literally how you see it, right? Like the eyes emoji. It's how you look at this thing, right? And how that thing even is in real life, right? So let me tell you what I mean there. I've just talked about some things that are a bit abstract. What I mean by this hill is how hard it actually is in real life, right? How hard it is to start it or how much energy it requires to get into the task, right? How hard or how much energy, right? So you can do one of two things. The first thing is reduce the height of that hill, right? If it's this tall and not that tall, it's a bit easier to get into, right? easier now this doesn't mean you can do less work okay and i'll come to that in a second okay it just looks easier right the first little introductory like entrance into the task that you're doing is easier okay just the start of it just the start of it right and then there's the perception of it right so you can look at this and think wow that's easy and you could even tell yourself it's going to be easy right you can kind of like uh, trick your brain. Right? That's what most people say about this kind of thing. You can say, this will be easy, right? And it genuinely works. This will be easy, right? If you think of it as this amazingly hard task, if you, if you think about all the work that you're gonna have to do in terms of like the length of it, like, okay, I'm gonna have to work for, you know, four hours long and you're thinking about all the hard stuff you're going to do you're going to have to write so much and think about so much and speak about so much if you're thinking about that then it will seem hard it will seem like this bigger hill right so that's the first concept right the little hill you have to kind of climb over right the little hurdle if you've ever done like hurdles before if you've ever even like horse riding stuff like that if you set the, the hurdle really low the horse can jump over it pretty easily right and then it can keep going, right? So a practical example of what this might look like in studying or productivity or just general work task in general is for example, you can set a, a 10 minute timer and just tell yourself, I'm just gonna work for 10 minutes, right? It's a similar kind of way of tricking your brain to thinking, okay, let's just work for 10 minutes and see what happens, right? In reality, you know that the, the intention, like the secret intention here is to work for, you know, a bit longer than that, right? You don't know how long, it's kind of vague, it's kind of a vague concept here, like, okay, I'm gonna work for longer than 10 minutes, but I don't know how long. The only concrete idea you have to look at is the 10 minute time segment, right? I'll work for 10 minutes and I'll see what happens. That is a low barrier to climb over, a low hurdle to jump, right? Set the bar low. And I know you're tempted to think here, Okay, why not 20 minutes? Why not half an hour? Why not one hour? The whole point is that it has to be small. I'd even go in the opposite direction. I'd even say set a five minute timer, right? That's even more effective, right? Because here's the thing, you know you can do the work, you know you're capable of it, but starting just seems daunting. So what you need to do is make it seem less daunting. So if you tell yourself, I'm only gonna work for five minutes, then that doesn't seem daunting at all. You can do that. You have no excuse for that, right? But the thing is, by the time you finish that five minutes, right, and the time runs out, time runs out, ding, 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 you will be in a flow state, right? You'll be in the flow of doing work and you'll be like, oh, well, I'm just, let me just finish this sentence. Let me just finish this paragraph. Let me just finish this video. Let me just finish this speech. Let me just finish this putting together some, you know, carpentry creation, whatever it is, right? You started, now you want to finish. Now finishing seems desirable to you because you're like, okay, I've started something, right? So you've jumped over the, over the low barrier, you're in the flow state, 
Now you can just work until that flow runs out. Until you feel like, oh, I, I want to go eat something. I want to go take a break. I've had enough of this. I'm getting frustrated a little bit. And you, you'll find that if you block the time out for it, you can work for hours in this way, right? Just starting with that five minute timer, that 10 minute timer, right? Starting in the first place, right? So this vague nebulous idea, by the end of it, you'd be like, oh, that was, you know, three hours of work, right? Incredible, amazing, right? So what you wanna focus on is the low barrier. And what that means is a very short time period or a very short task. It might not even be a time period. It might be like, a, okay, I'm gonna start writing this essay. I'm gonna write the bullet points of what I'm gonna say, or maybe the first sentence, or maybe the title, right? Or maybe start doing some research about the topic that I'm gonna to write about. I'm gonna write about Henry VIII, right? So let's just watch a video on Henry VIII and see if I can write down some bullet points because that seems easy to me, right? Make it easy. Make it easy, simple. I'm pretty sure there's a, a four step thing that James Clear has in Atomic Habits. Make it easy, make it simple, make it, uh, what is it? Like rewarding, I think. But you get the idea, like you don't, you don't have to know the four words there. You, you get the idea of having a low barrier, making it nice to do, making it easy, making it like, making it so that you want to do it, right? Some other things I wanna mention that are maybe less important are conditions you need for work, right? A lot of people think, okay, I need to have the perfect conditions. I need to go get my, you know, my cup of tea and I need to, you know, set the lighting and everything and clean my room and all of that. And yes, that's helpful, right? So I write those things down. Tea, room and all that. And, you know, maybe you do like a morning routine of like meditation and all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying this is bad, but the most productive people don't care about any of that stuff, right? They don't care about their tea. They don't care about their room. They don't care about the meditation. They just go straight into work, right? They wake up and what do they do the first thing in the morning? Do they brush their teeth? Do they take a shower? Do they have to go to the toilet? No, they just do work, right? And that might seem very extreme to you guys, but... This is what I've seen from the most productive people, the, the, the people that care about their work the most. Because if you genuinely love your work, you'll just get started with it the first thing in the morning. You don't care about anything else. You wake up and you're like, work, let's do work, right? And so that is another facet of what it is to just get started with work. Just do it, right? Just do the first thing. Don't worry about setting things up, having your cup of tea, having a cup of coffee, hot chocolate, cleaning your room, having everything looking nice and doing a meditation session and going for a walk and all that. This takes time, okay? This takes time away from your productivity. I'm not saying these are bad things to do, but this can use up or waste, dare I say, you know, 30 minutes, hour, two hours, right? And that can be a waste when what you're trying to do really is work. So if you're trying to do work, just get to work, All right? I know that's gonna be a bit controversial for some of you guys who love your morning routines, but just get to work. It's just a waste of time trying to set things up and you know, do things in the perfect way. And listen, there's a medium ground here, okay? If it takes you one minute to make a cup of tea, then fair enough, all right? If you genuinely think it helps you, fine, okay? But if it takes 30 minutes, if it takes two hours, then maybe you need to think about that, all right? And that's pretty much all I have to say about this, right? The main thing being the perception of how hard this thing is to do, right? Make it look easier and make it genuinely easier by reducing the hardness of the thing in the first place. So for me, the best way is a timer, five minute timer, 10 minute timer, and you can make it easier for yourself. So if you're writing an essay, go watch a video about that essay topic, which is easier, it's simpler, it's more fun to do. And then with that low barrier, once you get over that first task, you can flow a bit more easily because you will want to finish the task and you'll find yourself working for hours, not just minutes, right? And that can upgrade over time. Like maybe you will feel burned out after half an hour, 
when you're first doing this and then an hour the next week right and then you can work for 90 minutes then you can work for two hours you will get better at this over time everything like this is a skill you can upgrade right so mainly it's a mindset it's a mindset and a plan right the mindset is let's make this fun and easy to do and the plan is what am I going to do to make it easy and fun and then the morning routines the routines you want to kind of do to set up your work not necessary just get started right there's a famous well not a famous I like uh, this quote from Alex Hormozzi who says the best preparation for doing work is to start the work right the best kind of he says something particularly the best routine or I can't remember like whatever you do to prepare for your work the best thing to do to prepare is to do the work to start the work that's the final message right so make it fun make it easy for yourself make it so that you you can get into it very easily and then once that is the case the stuff you do before it is just start the work don't waste too much time with your routines and your meditations and your cleaning your room and getting a cup of tea. Just start the work. All right. Hope that helps. Thank you for submitting that question and I'm glad to answer it. I'll see you next time. Take care. Knowledge is power and the power is yours. Nice.